you have political leaders who do not have an educational system background. I'm sorry, but I'm going to go out and say that. <coughs> if it was the woman who was having an affair outside, Absolutely. would you expect the man's mother to turn around and say, Beta, bhool ja. Maaf kar do se. I honestly think that the biggest uh, detriment to, they say, women's empowerment are women themselves. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining us on The Quint. Uh, Kajal, firstly, it's so great to see you again and we're really, really happy to have you doing this. Uh, you know, on my 75th comeback. <laughs> comeback. Yeah. You know, between last stories and this, there's a similarity in the characters which I feel like you're playing women with agency, right? Women with resilience and strength. Uh, but in this, there is a slight difference where we see a woman takes a break to kind of cater to a house, to take care of a family and comes back. And you also, as a professional, did that. So when you come back to something like this after such a long break, did you find it challenging at all? Or did you think like, you know, I'm going to take this and do it? I think all of it is part of my life. Yeah. Like I say, if, I, if I'm not doing a film for two years, or if I'm not working for two years, that doesn't mean that I'm not working for two years. And that yeah. does not mean that makes me worthless for two years. Absolutely not. Yeah. yeah. So I don't believe in breaks. Yeah. And I don't believe in, um, I don't believe in comebacks and I don't believe in, I believe that my, this, actually to be very, very honest, this is my honest truth. Yeah. So let me, let me get it out there. Yeah, very important, honest confession. It's an honest confession time that when I go for work, that's my break. <laughs> <laughs> that's so I go simpler. on my play date, when I'm on shoot, it's my play date. I have fun, I chill, I laugh, I chat. Yeah. And yes, of course, we have the camera, of course, recording all of that. So when you're adapting a show like this, which is based on the judiciary system, right? So while you were directing it, did you find any similarities or differences and said, okay, these are the changes that I need to make to ensure that it caters to our audience who get the system? So this was done literally at the writing stage where we decided to kind of take the soul of the original show, okay. but adapt it in various ways for the Indian, uh, you know, diaspora. One, our legal system is completely different. We don't have a jury system. Two, this show came out 15 years ago. So we wanted to kind of bring in cases which are more contemporary because like in the original, uh, uh, what I liked about that was there are certain cases that would come about which would reflect with what's happening in the character's life. Yeah. So here too, we kind of chose new cases, created new cases, which in a way bring about the uh, moral dilemmas <coughs> that Noinika's character is facing in her life at that point of time. This is another thing in the show, uh, I think when your mom says you need to forgive him, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think that is something that we hear a lot from our parents because in our society we are made to believe that a marriage has to work. Mm -hmm. Do you as a woman find it a little sad that even though we've progressed so much, right? We've progressed so much as women and as a society, but there are certain, th you know, st uh, ways that we're still thinking like this that a woman needs to make it work and forgive. I agree. I totally agree with you. And um, and it's 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 a simple fact that if this situation had been turned around, and uh, if it was the woman who was having an affair outside, Absolutely. would you expect uh, the man's mother to turn around and say, "Beta, bhool ja, maaf kar do se, kabi zindagi mein nahi hota." And that's why I honestly think that the biggest uh, detriment to they say women's empowerment are women themselves. Because right. they, it is women themselves. If you talk about women's empowerment, the major problem is that uh, that we need to, we as women yeah. also, because we are the mothers yes. and we will produce children. We yeah. will raise them. We yes. need to raise them the with, with the thoughts and to raise them as we would have liked to be and how, how we would like to be, our ideal selves. You want yourself to be stronger. You want yourself to not be bothered by societal opinions. Then raise your children like that and raise your daughters like that as right. well. And raise your sons like that. I think it's much better now. I have yes, to say that. Yes, it definitely is. Yeah. I really see some, uh, you know, I see some, some amazing, amazing women standing up over there and standing up for each other. And, uh, and I see it every day in yeah. my workspace. Like I said, women's empowerment is starting up slowly but surely. Yeah. You're, as a society, we are not condemning it. Absolutely. We would have at, you know, maybe 10 years back, we would have, you know, taken a switch to them or, you know, abused them or told them God knows what they were. But uh, yeah, today, yeah, it's considered okay. At least let's look at it. I wouldn't say they're not being com condemned completely, yeah. but at least people are beginning to look at it and say, listen and hear the situation out. Yeah. The stigma, see, stigma, the is, much stigma less. is much less. And a uh, change, especially in a country like India, is slow. Yeah. It is very, very slow because we are, A for one, steeped in our traditions yes. and steeped in our...
thought processes and of course ha it has to do with education yes you have political leaders who do not have an educational system background i'm sorry but i'm going to go out and say that <coughs> but uh, it's a fact yeah, though yeah. you are being ruled by leaders so many of them who do not have that viewpoint yeah. which i think education does gives you at least the chance to look out for a different viewpoint the character of noinika uh, uh, sen gupta has been adapted for the indian mindset because the indian woman is very different from the western woman per se mm -hmm. about how she is as a wife as a mother and societies and society yeah. right yeah. so the societal social gaze status, status, status different absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. we've of course seen you be a part of quite a few series and films um you know you've always played a certain kind of characters i'm not going to say it i think everyone already says it but is there a character that you really want to be cast as pati <laughs> no 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 mahapurush <laughs> mr big okay Short and Mr. sweet. <laughs> Mr. Big ka yes. like yeah. Hindi version. He does. But Mr. Big ka Hindi version will be Mahapurush, na? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Whatever I'm doing, if I take out my character and if the story stops there, I'll do that character. Hmm. Okay. It can be a one scene. It can be seven scene. It can but be. But you could have been a picture on the wall also. <laughs> <laughs> but, but catalyst is the word. Okay. Rajesh before we go you know right now we have so many releases so many films etc and there's just so much clutter right every show every series is trying to do something different mm -hmm. and innovative to kind of stand out and break through this noise right and i think what you did really got everyone's attention and your fans got really worried what did you think when you were told about that honestly i like to be really really honest yeah. i have some wonderful fans yeah i really do i have the most amazing amazing fans because uh, they they think that i'm perfect regardless of whether i'm wearing chappals and wearing track pants i put on weight i lose weight yeah. i do a film i do an ott series i do whatever i do yeah. um whether i laugh whether whatever i do <laughs> they're they're okay with it and they love, they love me anyways so thank you for that first and foremost i'll start with that yeah. secondly when i was told to do this yeah. i just thought that you know these amazing people who know me so well and they seem to know me better than i know myself 90% of the time <laughs> I just thought that they would I mean like everybody would get it first of all though I'm I say it categorically 100 times in the year at least that I'm an intensely lazy person. <laughs> so I am I am a very lazy person. Hard working Don't lazy person. I am a hard working person. She's very hard working. But yeah. I am I am a lazy person as in that I keep my you know hard work for things that actually genuinely make mm. me money. Right. So <laughs> No, She's a highly motivated, uh, lazy person. No, no, I'll tell you. You're taking the right way. <laughs> so we have we finished one scene and we go into the another scene. Usually, a, a heroine or a, or a woman mm. who's an actress will take at least forty five minutes to an hour to change and come back. Oh, okay. She used to take ten minutes. I'm not kidding. And first day, I was like shocked. Three sides so changing on set. So refreshing. I, I, oh. I did. I did. I did. I started changing on the set. It's good that someone keeps you on your toes there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So in a schedule say there were like five or six scenes we should do yeah. eight scenes because yeah. of her. Yeah. But the all her because of her. She just helped you I think speed in the process. I Absolutely. think thank you so much. She saved the producer a lot of money. Also she is the producer of the show. Ah. Ah. Along with Bani. Acha. Oh, that was the reason. But did before you started directing the show and when you cast the two of them did when they came on the set was there any preconceived notion you had about them that broke on the sets none we knew each other we broke the ice there is going to be enough madness we're going to be happy that was the basic key discussion that we had that we will have a good time and the only preconceived notion that i had when i came on set was about jishu because uh, my mother kept telling me that he's a good boy oh. my mother worked with him before <laughs> i worked with him so they she would go on call, and on about him i want to call up auntie today boy. and say this <laughs> he's such a good boy and after that when i saw the film and i was like mom boy he's mr really? big boy i mean like <laughs> boy he had yeah. a lot of preconceived notions I, 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 you did in I, I, where i was concerned yes I, 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 yeah he yes. forgot his line he couldn't say his line for 10 takes he was terrified of her jokes about i had because i I'm, i'm a huge fan of hers so i mean the first day we had a photo shoot we i, I told him uh, i said ma'am i'm a huge fan of yours that that was it and then the way she is on the day one of the shoot mm -hmm. you know the way she was with me and i it was like we knew each other for a really long time and she had made me absolutely comfortable on the set which is brilliant yeah. which was so good for me because i was i won't say i was uh, anxious but yes, you were in was, awe i was in awe of her yeah. 
and which, which I'm still. There's no two ways about it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, and good luck for the show. Thank you. 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 Thank you.